At age 18, you're standing at a financial crossroads. One path leads to average, the other to extraordinary wealth. But what if the decisions you make at 18 could lay the foundation for financial freedom? More importantly, what if those decisions lead to financial ruin? We're about to reveal how your current choices can catapult you into a realm of financial greatness. So buckle up as we unveil the top 10 things to do financially when you turn 18. Numero 10 on our list involves the legal realm. It's like stepping into a new world where the rules have changed. You're not just any teen anymore. You're in the big leagues. This is the age when the law starts looking at you differently. Credit cards, contracts, you name it. They're all on you now. Think of it as your financial coming of age. You need to know the ropes, understand what you're signing up for, and always read the fine print. Moving on to number nine. Before you sprint off to college or jump into a career, why not test the waters? Get a job, any job. It's not just about making some quick bucks. It's about getting a sneak peek into the real world. You could be flipping burgers or coding the next big app. Doesn't matter. What matters is you're learning what you like, what you don't, and what makes you tick. This gig, whatever it is, might just give you the clues you need to pick your major or even your life's path. Sliding into number eight, insurance. Sounds boring, right? But think of it as your financial bodyguard. You're still probably on your parents' plan, but it's high time you understood this stuff. Health, car, maybe even life insurance. It's like having a safety net while walking a tightrope. The younger you are, the cheaper it gets. It's like buying a ticket to a worry-free future where you're covered no matter what life throws at you. Lucky 7 is all about breaking free. It's time to open your own bank accounts. It's not just a rite of passage. It's your first step to financial independence. You'll need to set up an account to send and receive money. And the most basic account for that will be a checking account. No need to get fancy. Just open up something with an institution that doesn't charge you fees. Trust me, they'll be happy to hold your money for you. Number six is your financial lifesaver. Picture this, your car breaks down or you need a last minute flight home. Where do you turn? To your emergency fund. This isn't just spare change in a piggy bank. It's your personal bailout package for when life gets unpredictable. Start saving now and the future you will thank you. Stay tuned as we keep counting down to the number one financial move you gotta make when you turn 18. Trust me, this is the one singular, game-changing move that will catapult you into a realm of financial freedom like no other. Rolling right along, number five is like turning on the lights in a dark room. It's all about financial literacy. This isn't just dull textbook stuff. It's real life, practical knowledge. How do credit cards work? What's a mortgage? How do you avoid drowning in debt? It's time to get savvy about these things. It's like arming yourself with the tools you need to build your empire. Knowledge is power. And in this case, it's also money. Number four, folks, is building your credit. Think of your credit score like a high score in a video game, but this one's for real life. The higher your score, the better deals you get on loans, credit cards, even renting a place. Start small, maybe with a secured credit card or as an authorized user on your parents' account. You can piggyback off of their great credit history to give you a head start. Pay your bills on time, keep your debts low, and watch your score climb. It's like playing the long game where your future self is the winner. Let's talk about retirement savings. You might think, retirement? I'm just 18. But hear me out. I know retirement feels like a lifetime away, but the earlier you start, the more you'll have when you're older and here's a twist you might not know. You'll want to think about opening a Roth IRA. Right now, at 18, you're likely earning the least you ever will. Sounds grim, but it's actually a golden opportunity. You're in the lowest tax bracket you'll ever be in. This is where the Roth IRA becomes your best friend. When you put money in a Roth IRA now, you're paying taxes at your current low rate. Fast forward to retirement, when you're likely in a higher tax bracket, 
You won't pay a dime on what you withdraw. Your contributions grow tax-free. And when you're sipping tea in your golden years, you'll be thanking your 18-year-old self. It's more than just saving. It's smart, strategic planning. Plant that tree now and you'll be living in its shade before you know it. And at number two, we've got investing. Beyond just saving, investing is how you make your money work for you. Stocks, bonds, index funds, there's a whole world out there. But start slow, do your research, maybe even talk to a financial advisor. Investing is like the ultimate financial adventure, full of risks and rewards. But the potential payoff? Huge. Stay with me, because up next, we unveil the top financial step every 18-year-old should take. It's the crown jewel of our list, and it's coming up right after this. But before we hit our number one spot, let's talk about something special, a hidden gem of a bonus for this list starting your own business. If you've got a skill, a passion, something you're really good at, why not turn it into a business or side hustle? You're 18, the perfect age to take a risk. Maybe you're into graphic design, baking, coding, or even making YouTube videos. Start small, build your brand, and who knows? You could be sitting on a seven or eight figure empire in a few years. It's about taking that leap, believing in yourself, and making your passion pay. All right, we're at the pinnacle, the peak, the summit of our financial mountain. This is it, the number one thing you need to do financially when you hit 18, and it's a big one. At the top of the chart is creating and following a budget. More importantly, properly managing your cash flow. Now, before you groan and think budgets are boring, hear me out. This is like the director of your financial movie. A budget isn't just about tracking every penny. It's about taking control of your cash as it comes in. It's about making sure your money is going where it should, a little bit to savings, a chunk to your new side hustle, some for your living expenses, and hey, even some for fun. This is the most important thing to master though. Setting aside 15 to 20% of your income for savings or investments before anything else. That's the golden rule. And when I say anything else, I mean it. Rent, the electric company, Visa, MasterCard, Spotify, and anything else that stands between you and financial freedom. It's about paying yourself first. Think of it like planting seeds for a money tree. Every dollar you save is a leaf on that tree. And before you know it, you're sitting in the shade of your own financial security. Budgeting is the ultimate balancing act. It's about making the money you have work for you in the best way possible. And trust me, once you get the hang of it, it's not just rewarding, it's empowering. From understanding your new legal responsibilities to managing cash flow like a pro, each step is a crucial piece of the puzzle. And remember, it's never too early to start. Whether you're saving for a car, planning for college, or just trying to make some extra cash, these steps will set you on the right path.